been a while since I first on this YouTube channel, but somehow we're still gaining subscribers, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, today I'm going to be showcasing this um, Minecraft Redstone computer I created. Um, so let's get right into it. So this thing consists of five main elements. So you have the user interface, which is all the wood. The encoder, which is that part over there. The decoder, which is over here. The ALU, arithmetic logic unit. And the RAM. So let's get right into it, starting from the beginning. <clears throat> so here you have the user interface. I'll explain this after because it'll make more sense. But just to get the basics down, this is the A input section and the B input section, one through eight. So these are normal numbers, um, like when you count in your head. So they're base 10 numbers. That's what it's uh, logistically called or whatever. But anyway, they're all bust into this section over here, which is called the encoder. So it basically turns those base 10 numbers into two's complement numbers, which is binary. <clears throat> so those binary numbers are sent down here into this machine right here. This is called the inverter. Now, the inverter is used for subtraction because this machine here can really only add and do logic. But what this does here is it inverts the lower number. So if you're doing four minus eight, it inverts the four. And essentially what it does is four plus negative eight. So that's what this is useful for. This is the ALU. This is my own design. Um, I haven't seen anything similar to this on YouTube. I call it the double and inverter because it has a double and and an inverter. But basically what it does is it takes your input, it carries it through, but if you have an input that needs to be carried because this is two's complement, so if you have a number over two, it triggers these and functions and then carries it over into the next one. So then you have one and two so well if you had it if you had just two would carry it over and bring it here and this is two because it's one two four eight sixteen but if you had three for instance it would carry it over and then you'd have one here so it'd be one and two so that's three but anyway once it does all the logic in the alu it comes out into this other set of inverters so this is not useful for like addition or subtraction or anything like that this is just for um logic um logic gates which is basically a core function of a computer um, but once it comes out of the logic case, it goes straight up into the decoder, and this takes it from binary into actual base 10 numbers. So there's two layers to this. The first layer, which is like this right here, that does 1 through 8, and the second layer does 9 through 16. <clears throat> and it's the route, in, or the route output would be sent here, and then it's then bust into this user interface display right here. So another key functionality is the RAM. This is the RAM over here. It's a two byte RAM, which means it can store two numbers, one through 16. Um, and this is a pretty inefficient design in my opinion. It's kind of big and I could have saved space. I have a more concise version over there, um, but you know, this works. So I just don't feel like removing it or replacing it or whatever. Uh, I'll use that example over there to explain this because it's basically the same thing, just more compact and concise. But let's get right into this one. So starting, the RAM pulls its signal from the from the output, right? It takes the output, the raw binary output, and then buses it over here, where it's split off into two different um, uh, signals, right? This one goes to signal A, and this is, I guess, RAM slot A, or like memory A, and then signal B, which is under all these busing. This is um, signal B. So I'll explain how it works, but just know that it's stored in these memory cells, and then the memory cell also carries out um, whatever's stored into it and then it's displayed in the user interface right there. So this is just for display purposes. This gray line over here is the <clears throat> it's the clear function. So basically it opens these, opens both of those twice so it can clear whatever's inside of it and then also the display units up there and then whatever's running into it. Um, yeah, that's what that does. So I'll show you an example over there. So this is the more compact version as you can see it definitely takes up less space but it does effectively the same thing. This is only one byte, but just to make two bytes, you just have to, I guess, copy this like next to it or whatever the case is. Um, but the green is the input and the red is the output. And this is in binary. So let's just say we want to save the number seven. So one, four, one, two, four. So you'll write that, which then takes that signal, opens these levers and stores it into the cells. And then you can turn these off, and as you can see, they're still in the cells. They're still in cell 1, 2, and 4, 7, but not in 8 or 16. 
and then you can read the memory by pressing this button. It basically opens the outputs and then sends the signal out. And of course you have one, two, four, so seven. And then you can read, uh, not read, we already did that. You can erase the memory and it opens this, opens both of these twice so it can um, like get rid of the signal and then output it. So realistically, if I wanted to use this over there, I'd have to make the cell probably too wider so I could um, take an output and show a user interface display over there. But now that we're done with this explanation, let me explain the user interface. So this is the user interface and it has three main parts, the memory controller, the actual numbers, and then the logic controller. So let's start with the actual numbers. You have one through eight, so it's two rows. So you have one A through eight A, so input A, one B through eight B, input B. And without touching anything, it can do math. So it can only do addition, right? Because the ALU was only designed to do addition and then logic game functions, but none of those are turned on right now. So let's do, let's do four plus four and you should get eight, which is four, four, it should be that one. Right, so we have eight. The reason you see like the flicker is because I don't have everything in sync. Somewhere, something is traveling faster than the other one and it's getting four. But anyway, now let's say we wanna do subtraction. So let's do eight minus four. So again, like I said before, you're gonna to have to invert the lower one. So B is the lower one, you have to invert that. And essentially, like I said before, it does eight plus negative four. And then just because of the nature of the computer, you're gonna to have to add the carry one, which add one so you can get the proper answer. So now you should get four. Yep, eight minus four is four. Um, this over here is the overflow. Now the overflow turns on when the number is over 16. So let's do eight plus eight plus six. Eight plus eight plus seven, my bad. And you get a bunch of random things on the screen, but the main thing is overflow because obviously this is a four bit CPU so it can only go up to 16. So any number over 16 is an overflow. And how that works is I've set it up over here. It compares the 16th bit with any other bit. And because you can't have 16 and anything else, because the maximum value you can have is 16, it will send a signal and say it's overflowed. So it's an and logic gate right here. So if this and any of those are on, it sends a signal. Um, now let's go to the memory. The memory is pretty simple. Basically what it does is it can store numbers. So let's store the number, let's store number five. So let's just wait till five gets up on the display. It should be that, yep. And we'll write that to memory A. So now memory A over there should show five. And let's do seven for memory B. So six, seven, and let's store that on memory B. All right, now let's say I wanna write, now let's do, seven plus five that's 13 that's 12 actually so you're gonna write memory a read memory a read memory b and for the sake of this example i'll do addition but you can do subtraction um and any logic a functions you want just with the memory but yep 12. um and then this is the memory clear which um i've already shown you what all these done like in the actual display but you clear it and it clears the memory and it should be clear there and that'll go away soon and it's gone. The reason this takes forever to go through is because it's a pretty massive system. There's a lot of things that has to go through before it reaches an output. So this is a relatively slow computer, but I'd say for my first, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, that's that's it for the um, for the showcase. If you want to see a tutorial or something on how to build something like this with an explanation and whatnot, um, I guess leave a comment and I will um, have a tutorial on how to build this.